Hi, I'm Stuart Johnson, uh, owner, winemaker, grower, spokesmodel for Kendrick Vineyards, and I'm here to talk about the 2018 uh, Reward Ranch Shenandoah Valley Sangiovese that I'm sending your way. This is uh, the first vineyard that I ever planted up in the Sierra foothills on my folks' property uh, back in the early 90s, and we've been at it ever since. Uh, at that point, uh, Sangiovese, Sangiovese was going to be the uh, next superstar variety in California, and it hasn't quite achieved that status, but I'm hoping to, uh, to advance the varietal, uh, with, uh, particularly with this vintage. Uh, it's been a bit of an evolution for me from a more Chianti sort of take to uh, inching my way a little bit more toward Brunello uh, with a little more structure, a little more stuffing to the wine with each passing vintage, and uh, the 2018 is one I'm pretty happy with. Sangiovese, you can count on bright acidity, you can count on uh, dusty cherry fruit, and it's a question of what else, uh, what other nuance you can, you can add to that, and what sort of length and depth you can build onto that. It can sometimes be sort of a short wine. I do a lot of extended maceration uh, with this, a lot of whole cluster, uh, in lieu of uh, getting super ripe. I'd rather try and achieve I'd rather try and fill it out uh, with those cellar techniques as opposed to getting really ripe and jammy, which is not the house style. So I think uh, I've got a, an earthier wine uh, for that. Um, I say there's, there's the iron tang to it. There's a stony quality to it. There's an evolution from uh, an initial red fruit profile evolving toward a more uh, tarry, firm, blacker core to it, uh, the, the spine of the wine. And I think that lengthens it out a bit. Uh, there's nuance to it that comes with age. Uh, I find the Sangiovese is peaking around five years past vintage, so this would be 2023 when the dried herb qualities really come to the fore and, and start to shine. Uh, it's Perfectly enjoyable now, but if you're inclined to cellar, that's a that's a period I would would aim for. And uh, as I said, I'm pretty happy with 2018. I think it's uh, closer than I've ever come before to a more old world Brunello uh, sort of take, though it's still a Pinot Maker's rendition of, of Sangiovese, which is to say, not a not a powerhouse wine, but a finesse wine. And I hope you'll agree. Cheers.